recording okay uh, let us enjoy for today's talk our discussions here what we expected is that in such a way this is the first slide the water which is coming from a bottle or water which is poured from the bottle will occupy the position in a glass until and un until unless it gets filled up filled up actually there is huge dynamics which is involved actually we will let us we'll try to see that what best we can do it at least this is the syllabus last class i was at the end mentioning about this type diagrams there is the intermolecular bonds which are strongest in solids and are weakest in gases you can observe that is the difference between the schematic representation shown in left extreme as well as the right extreme the first left extreme is for the solids which are bound together molecules in solid are arranged in a pattern that is repeated throughout the structure maybe in face centered body center cubic centered or whichever may be the way they are appearing that varies from the molecules to the molecules the in the sense of element to the element sample to the another sample of that kind but this is fixed positions actually okay but here see that intermediate in between these two the in liquid molecules can rotate on themselves and also translate freely means they can rotate among themselves from one 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 orientation to another orientation and translate very freely compared to that of the solids but what happens in lost gases actually the molecules are far apart they are not intact actually from each other and molecules are ordering is in a non existent actually they are not bound to any molecules of course they are bound within the container there is no doubt if you are keeping them in a container otherwise they are not bound to that means fluidity is the tendency of continuous deformation of the fluids fluid property is nothing but fluidity we can say that it is the tendency it is the nature of the continuous flow do of the fluids and takes the deformation from the what we are expecting in the three regions of that kind in general solid should not be taken into the consideration fluids are the one either may be in gases or may be in liquid or may be the combination of the two means here the flow refers to the act of continuous deformation means which means fluid takes the shape of the surrounding if you are keeping in a cup of a glass the fluid will be in the shape of a glass if you are keeping in a bottle it should be in the shape of a bottle okay if it is in an ocean will be in the shape of an ocean in the sense depending on the curvature and the part actually yeah means that is in flow means by during the flow the constant fluid particles which wherever maybe it may be made up of are continuously change their position from one place to the another place related to the another means their molecules will change their position with reference to the time i have shown these things actually last class uh, why where where you find these applications there are a huge number of or large number of applications or innumerable number of innumerable number innumerable in the sense you may not count it in a, a, a fixed value actually like either 10 or 100 or 1000 you can find large number of applications of the fluid mechanics here what i shown on the left extreme is that this the fluid dynamics is an extensively used in the design of artificial hearts see that is an artificial heart this is also an artificial heart if heart for a human being goes wrong or may not be functioning in a proper way the technology has come both in terms of medicinal and also in terms of the technology has come in such a way to replace the heart of a human being through an artificial thing this is shown in the penn state electric uh, total artificial heart which was developed by penn state university means i don't know whether you are aware of uh, the some of the speeds this arterial blood flow velocities which can range from about 4.9 to about 19 almost 5 to 20 cm per second the aerial blood uh, within the artery left hand artery or ventricular what you are expecting actually the blood flows about some 20 cm per second within second it has to move 20 cm means assume that a person of about 5 feet means about 150 cm 150 divided by 20 feet make actually roughly 8 seconds it will take to move from the head to the foot Headed to the foot, eight to seventy-eight seconds. Mean if some injury occurs, something changes actually. The blood has to move from. Of course, if you, even if you reduce the heart height from head about one feet or one foot actually of that kind, it may take about six to seven seconds. Six to seven seconds to reach from bottom foot, bottom foot to the uh, heart. 
means venous blood flow within that actually ranges about 1.5 to 7 centimeter per second. See that actually in artery within the heart, it is almost fourfold, fourfold actually of that kind. Means instead of 1.5 becomes a six, instead of seven, it becomes almost three times actually, seven, three to four times with higher speed. Heart is having such a high power to pump the blood actually for its purification and purified blood has to be circulated throughout the body. But do you have you expected in such a way that the vessel diameters which are ranging from 800 micrometer to about 1.8 millimeter on a scale if you take any kind of a thing of a thick, thin sheet actually thin sheet about of a few millimeters should be there thin sheet to the 800 micrometer 800 micrometer comes to be the same case actually it works with the micron level it works with the micron level almost the uh, thickness of the human hair, some 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 of some of the human how the greatest thickness of the human hair to actually, but vessels are having still have a diameter lesser than that. This blood flow rate ranges from about three to twenty six ml per minute. Means how much flow should go within this range in arteries and about one point to about four point ml in uh, per, ml per minute in veins. Just think actually how much flow rate should be there means there also we require the same fluid dynamics or the fluid mechanism, how it works, how it should be replaced, how it should be handled of that kind. It is not easy job. Where your environment is very much required in handling this type of the problems along with a good understanding in the biology or maybe species technology of that kind. Natural flow and weather phenomena also of the same kind, huge amount of the water is flowing from the reservoir and maybe getting drowned out. Natural flow of the power plants, in the sense, this is the thermal power plant actually. Huge amount of energy is released due to the exhaust. You can see that fumes which are coming out of that actually. They have to mix with the atmosphere air and dissipate the thermal heat to the atmosphere and they will be bringing the balance along with the requirement of the energy that can warm up the water to get the steam that the steam will rotate the turbines turbines will our rotation of the turbines uses the uh, electricity for example in industrial applications either for coolant or maybe hotting or maybe supplying of the fluid even making in cool drinks for you even making in some kind of an oils for edible oil or non other kind of an oils all these industrial applications we are having uh, uh, and uh, all, all the industries we are having great applications of the fluid mechanics fine it's also i shown earlier maybe the movement of the ships in ocean is not an easy job particularly on the surface if huge winds comes they have to have their own things aircraft aviation technology has possible by understanding the particularly what we can call uh, uh, particularly what we can call as the uh, the aircraft uh, pilot has to know the dynamics before thing they may not to work out with the uh, the equations which are responsible for that but they have to understand the phenomena okay it's the same person the doctor is checking the human body may not be only for the temperature alone even for the whether the body temperature is warmer or maybe cooler depend on depending upon the movement of the fluid inside the body along with the blood actually we are all warm-blooded animals warm-blooded human beings of that kind the cause of course, the engine within the car and the structure of the car, the car which is moving on road has to have the balance with the atmosphere to have a streamlined movement, streamlined flow in the air. This has shown maybe the paste which is acrylic, for example, or maybe artist which is coming out of it actually have the fluid properties. The gum or glue, what you are putting actually within the bottle, it will never stick to the bottle. But whenever you place before between the two samples, two material, it gets adhesive, adhesive. How it has to have? Maybe the foam within the bottle, within the container, it will, it will be in different form. But under the high pressure, it looks like a foam. It, it not it looks, it's like a foam. That foam can be used for any purposes. Okay, means this is in volcanic eruptions, or maybe same kind of an eruptions which are happening actually, happening which which are happening. This is simply a water flowing from a tap to a basin for the rest of the part. Even the exhaust which is coming from the fire extinguisher, either maybe the mixture of the carbon dioxide and some other thing or water. This is a mixture of carbon dioxide and other powder to oh, to reduce the fire. To reduce the fire. These are all the examples, are beautiful examples to understand the food dynamics. Aircraft, high-speed line, ship, and even submarines. 
Plus plus, I gave also an example of the cyclones, hurricanes, or huge tidal waves which are happening in ocean, or even the earthquakes which are coming from the bottom of the earth, sorry, interior of the earth to the spot actually, or maybe the huge geological fluid mechanics, maybe on the Venus, maybe tornadoes of that kind are the great examples, and one has to has to understand fluid mechanics in better way. Then you'll see that, that as we are coming to the topic right now, how do we study the fluid mechanics? There are different mechanisms. Like one has to study the basic laws of physics, particularly the conservation of the mass. What it means to say that mass neither be created nor to be destroyed. Whatever maybe the mass is there, the same mass will be conserved. Means, for example, if you take in water, liquid water may gets converted to the solid ice, or solid may, ice may gets converted to the liquid water, either absorption or release of the energy. At the same time, liquid water may absorb the energy and gets converted to the water vapor, or water vapor on condensation may gets converted to the liquid water by the release of the energy to the environment. Means mass gets conserved. If we don't have any option for creation of mass or loss of the mass. Whatever maybe the mass should be there on the planet Earth or any of the planets, the same mass will continue. For example, the total amount of water bodies on the Earth, maybe including ocean water, river water, pond water, water in a well, and also water in the atmosphere is conserved. Due to the absorption of the solar energy continuously by all water bodies, including ocean, bigger oceans, or maybe the seas and lakes, river, because of that evaporation, even though water, water might have evaporated and entered into the atmosphere, has to condense once it reaches once it reaches its saturation and thereby balances the water level. There are several mechanisms. Maybe you might have heard that carbon cycle, carbon dioxide cycle, hydrogen cycle, or maybe the cycle of an oxygen or cycle of your water too, to a great extent. At the same time, to understand these things, conservation of momentum is required. That conservation of momentum we understood well by the Newton second law of motion. Means rate of change of momentum, rate in a sense with reference to the time. Rate of change of position with time is given by speed or velocity if it is associated with the direction. Rate of change of the velocity with the time gives you the acceleration. The mass times velocity gives you the momentum. Momentum should be conserved. Means if two objects collide add on the mass gets sorry the energy gets or momentum gets transferred from one object to the another object and the total momentum should be constant constant conservation of the energy that's what you are expecting dq by dt or rate of change of the energy thermodynamic energy particularly from the law of first, first law of thermodynamics remains constant second law of thermodynamics says that the entropy was on increases and thereby making the conservation to a great extent by with this basic laws of physics, one can have, uh, in addition to the equation of the state, that equation of state gives us that the fluid properties to understand the fluid properties either in terms of density as a function of the pressure or density as a function of the temperature or density as a function of both pressure and temperature. Along with that, the constitutive laws, for example, the relationship between the stress and deformation of the material. Whenever you apply stress onto a material, the material gets deformed. Means you may not expect the same thing. Assume that uh, whatever may the football you're having, if you kick the football very forcibly, it the football gets deformed, but it may attain its own shape because of its elasticity. But instead of that, if you hit a cork ball, not by thing by hammer, certainly cork ball gets deformed. For example, here, the density of an ideal gas shifts in such a way that that is dealt by the ideal gas equation where pressure times volume is directly proportional to the temperature rate, not rate, the, the pressure, the, the product of the pressure and volume uses the function how that the temperature varies. Provided, provided the R remains constant, N is the number density. P is the pressure in terms of the Newton per meter square, or V is the volume, and T is the temperature, and N represents the number of molecules or moles. You can say that here rho is nothing but mass per volume, two kind of the density you can expect either mass density or number density. Mass density is nothing but mass per unit volume or mass per volume. That is, if you multiply that m by n, it gives you the number density, number of mo molecules times the molar mass by volume. Based on this, 
you can write this rho as p times m by rt of that kind or newton's law of viscosity is defined in such a way that stress is directly proportional to the strain means deformation can happen in such a way that the stress is directly proportional to the rate of change of rate of change or rate of the strain or it can be directly proportional to the rate at which the fluid moves along particular direction is defined by the stress where with some coefficient is known as the coefficient of viscosity or you can also call it as the dynamic viscosity to a great extent means to say viscosity can be defined in such a way as the resistance of a fluid which is being deformed by the application of the stress whenever there is a deformation of the fluid or if the fluid changes its structure by the application of the shear stress that is known as the viscosity otherwise all liquids all fluids are having some viscosity this viscosity is nothing but a resistance by the fluid for the moment of for the moment for the flow you are also having a resistance okay when you sleep in a bed you resist to wake up mainly because of that you try to get your own words whatever you wish Okay. means to say that in everyday terms this viscosity is referred as thickness if it is too much thick thick fluid thin fluid they can call if the fluid is too much thick viscosity is quite high if, or larger value if the thickness is quite thinner thinner liquids they can call the viscosity is less thus water is thin which is having a lower viscosity while honey is thick having a higher viscosity maybe a tar Uh, which is used for thing or maybe some other kind of and pastry things are having a high, higher viscosity but this viscosity is also dependent upon the temperature as the temperature goes up the viscosity gets lower or drop common fluids for example water atmospheric air and mercury even including mercury also obey the newton's laws of viscosity and are known as newtonian fluids otherwise newtonian fluids are the one which obey the newtonian law newton's laws not newton's laws of first law second law third law in mechanics here the newton's laws of fluid that is the stress is directly proportional to the rate tau is directly proportional to del u by del x or del y you can take provided with coefficient of viscosity non newtonian fluids are the one where they do not obey the the newtonian laws or newton's law of fluid other classes of fluid for example like paint for example what we are getting paint for the walls or maybe any kind of a painting even for the drawing also actually even polymer solutions or even blood to that extent do not obey the linear relationship between the stress and strain means if you apply a strain that strain is not directly proportional to the stress means it deforms in a different way it it it, it, it behaves in a different way those type of form. fluids not objects remember they are either liquids or gaseous material those type of fluids are known as the non newtonian fluids mean this for this unit of viscosity is that newton second per meter square or we can also this deal with newton per meter square as the pascal unit for the pressure times a second pressure times a second okay. yeah you have seen great scientists who are working in the field of the physics and also the rest of the part particularly in fluid mechanics archimedes way back to the 287 bc 287 to about uh, the 212 bc newton between 1642 to the 1727 don't worry about the era means see that from archimedes to the newton almost several centuries then leibniz in the same era then bernoulli bernoulli equation what you are remembering Euler, where you are very fond of the Euler equations or Euler transitions, or solving the differential equations, making use of the Euler method, Navier equations, Navier and the Stokes, they work together actually later on. Okay, we, 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 even though their uh, working uh, areas are uh, common, they were they were born at a different time. Okay, almost a gap of about thirty-five uh, uh, years. Okay, uh, Navier and Stokes. Reynold is a great number. You might have heard that Reynolds number, where you might have purchased the Reynolds pens to write in a better way. The company they have kept the name for those pens as Reynolds because the flow of the ink in 
those kind of a refill is a lamina flow without any turbulent, without any stopover. It has to flow continuously to the lid and you can write easily, very smooth without any obstacles. Just if you hand, just if you have a pen in your hand, you will start writing whatever you wish till end of last tip of drop of a liquid, that is the ink. That number is known as the Reynolds number. Usually, Reynolds number is defined in such a way that if the number is less than 2000, uh, 2, 2, 2 2000, it is said to be a laminar flow. If the number goes beyond 2000, it is said to be a turbulent flow or maybe a tur turbulent flow. In the atmosphere, all motions, either motion of an air or motion of water are turbulent, not like a river of that kind. Then, Pantidil, later person, and Tyler series is what you are expecting actually, and who was the person also responsible for giving a theory for a series of expansions in mathematics, Tyler series, which is basis for the Euler and Rangakote and rest of them actually, means based on this Tyler, rest of them. All of them have worked out on the fluid mechanics extensively. I would like to see, or the Department of Physics would like to see the four rights next by your names. If you are interested to continue the work on fluid mechanics and continuum mechanics along with the continuous physics or conceptual physics. Just a broad classifications for the liquid and gases. This is required. Miss liquid is difficult to compress. You can't compress them to a great extent and often regarded as the incompressible liquids. Okay. Miss gases are the one easy to compress. It changes. Miss gases can change the volume at larger. It cannot normally be neglected and is related to the temperature. Of course, as the temperature goes up, the volume will also expand. Uh, as the liquid is considered, it occupies a fixed volume and will take the shape of the container, no doubt, either in a glass or maybe a water bottle or maybe any cone or maybe spherical bulb, whichever you want. There is no fixed shape or volume for the gases, but it changes volume to expand to fill the containing vessels instead of one liter cube, one liter volume, if you take two liter uh, bottle and fill the gas, entire gas will be filled in the two liter. Instead of the two liter, if you take 10 liter volume can, and if you transfer that entire gas, the gas will occupy all the 10 liters. But in liquid, it will not happen. If you take one liter, it will occupy the 1000 cc, whichever may be the shape. If you take 10 liter, the height may not increase, or height may not increase, height or depth of the water may not increase. But liquid offers a free surface is formed if the volume of the container is greater than the liquid. But the, there is no free surface. Means there is an off. If you take and get a cup of a glass, half glass may be filled with water or maybe liquid. Another half is filled with the air. Okay. But if you take the air gases, so alone actually don't fill anything in the but in the glass, entire glass is filled with the air or maybe the gases. Completely fill the vessel so that no free space is formed for the gases. Being this, when a matter is subjected to the examination on either microscopic or molecular level or molecular scales, it consists of molecules in random motion, which are separated from one to another by distances, which are at least comparable with molecular size. Okay. In case of gases, what happens here? In case of gases, the separation of distance between the molecules is quite large, what we referred in earlier diagram. In case of liquids, it is comparable, which are less separated compared to that of the gases. In case of solids, it is overlap, or it is still less. For macroscopic analysis, the molecular structure of matter is no interest, means it is more convenient to treat the fluids as having a continuous structure so that at each point, it is possible to define a unique velocity or unique pressure, unique density. Means if you want to analyze, see, instead of the, the distance of separation in gas, liquids, and the solids, in fluids, what are the properties we have to say that? In terms of velocity, in terms of the pressure, in terms of the density, we can say that what kind of a fluid it is. For a continuous flow of a fluid, or maybe for a continuous flow is also known as the ideal fluid. The fluid particles are defined as the fluid contained within an infinitesimal volume whose size is so small that it may be regarded as a geometric point. Means for all fluids, whatever the shape they acquire, that should be treated as the geometric point. Some properties of the fluid, you are well aware, there is no doubt in it. 
one can define the density can call it as a mass density which is nothing but the ratio of mass per volume mass per unit volume at a standard temperature and pressure means if the temperature and pressure changes certainly the mass per volume will also change or density of the fluid will also change usually it is represented in terms of kilogram per cubic meter but weight density or weighted density also they can say that weighted density is defined as the weight per unit volume weight per unit volume at the standard temperature and pressure that weight per unit volume gives you the another weight density rho in terms of the acceleration due to gravity here what you want to say that w is equal to rho times g if rho is equal to 1 atmospheric a what should be the g value g is 10 on the earth's atmosphere then w should be 10 times i don't know whether you got it or not g is 10 times value w is equal to m times g if we ignore g value w should be equal to m mass should be equal to weight provided g should be equal to 1 if not even if you are having a weight of about 50 kilogram due to the earth gravity of 10 roughly 10 means your mass should be one tenth of your weight that is only five kilogram only five kilogram your mass is five kilogram your weight is 50 kilogram if you go to the moon where it reduces by one sixth instead of that you can call it as an one fifth value means one fifth is the acceleration due to gravity your weight should your, your weight should come one fifth means that is 0 0.2 times your mass 0 0.2 into 5 0 0.2 into 5 is about uh, point, uh, uh, 0 0.2 into 5 is about uh, uh, 2 by 2 yes you will get about 1 kilogram means your weight your weight on moon is 1 kilogram your weight on earth is 10 uh, sorry, 50 kilogram because of the acceleration due to gravity means the weighted density is defined as the weight per unit volume or the standard temperature and pressure one can also specify that specific volume it is defined as the volume per unit mass of the fluid volume of the fluid per unit mass to a great extent can define the specific gravity specific gravity can be defined in two ways a ratio of density of the liquid to the density of the water at standard temperature and pressure. You choose any liquid and compare that with the density of the water at standard temperature and pressure. Stand density of the liquid to the density of the water at standard temperature and pressure gives you the specific gravity. Or you can also specify that ratio of the specific weight of the liquid to the specific weight of the water at standard because weight what then either weight or density where the volume gets cancelled actually specific weight of water to the specific weight of the liquid gives you the specific gravity using this specific gravity each liquids each fluids are having their own specific gravity for example choose the value here a reservoir of an oil which is having a mass of about 825 kilogram use about one ton uh, sorry uh, uh, more than that uh, about eight tons the reservoir has a volume of about 0.917 meter cube about lot one meter cube less than one one meter by one meter by one meter compute the density it is computed density comes to be around 900 kilogram specific heat specific weight comes to be around 8829 newton per meter cube how much force it is acting due to the gravity and specific gravity of the oil has come to be about 0.9 do you agree right now this it is having a 900 kilogram even though it is having a mass of about 825 because of the low reservoir because of this volume you can convert that to the density into the density it comes to be more than means if you take one liter water one liter oil for example uh, uh, edible oil and one liter milk all of them one liter means thousand cubic centimeter their masses will differ because the density differs volume is same for all the density of milk may be relatively more than the density of water is slack density of oil is still lesser that is why if you compare with the petroleum products petroleum is having a more dense and than that of the water that is why all petroleum products you are getting inside the ocean being viscosity here viscosity is nothing but the resistance for the flow of the fluid which can offer by the intermolecular cohesion means in other words viscosity can seen in an internal friction to the fluid motion which can lead to the energy loss also if the fluid is moving, it loses its energy due to the viscosity. Means different fluids can have different kind of a deformation because of their because of their shear stress. 
the easy with which the fluid pours is the indication of the viscosity. Means fluid with high viscosity is a, okay, for example, like a syrup for cough or uh, cough like that, deforms more slowly. They are very thick than a fluid with low viscosity, maybe like water. Again, thick or thin is the related terminologies. The viscosity is also known as the dynamic viscosity. Usually it is represented in terms of Newton second per meter square or kg per meter per second. Typical values, if you expect water is about 1.414 or about 1.78, air is having more value, lesser value compared to that of the water. Being this, you can classify the fluids into Newtonian, non Newtonian fluids. There is a major cause. Fluids which obey the Newton's law of viscosity are known as the Newtonian fluids. For example, air, water, oil, gasoline. Water in the sense here, fluids, liquid water, for example. Okay. Uh, alcohol, kerosene, benzene, glycerin can go on explaining some things. Otherwise, Newton's law of viscosity is given by the stress, shear stress is directly proportional to the shear rate du by dt or rate strength dy by d, d by dy of u or velocity gradient, that is u is the velocity, velocity gradient times viscosity of the fluid. This is a simple relation, you remember, tau is proportional to the rate of change of rate of change of uh, the strain or du by dt or rate strain or velocity gradient or shear rate. This, this is how they can go. Newtonian and non-Newtonian wise, if fluids do not obey the Newtonian's laws, Newton's laws, for example, they are called non-Newtonian fluids like uh, uh, the viscosity of the non-Newtonian fluid is dependent on the velocity gradient. If velocity increases, the uh, viscosity will also change. Means Newtonian fluids having a linear relationship between the shear stress and the gradient in the velocity or if you take the slope remains constant for non newtonian it will not happen think here see this if it goes with the green color newtonian if it goes with the red color like that pseudo plastic if it goes with the bottom one dilent if it goes with, with some shear stress bingham this is the has the buckley types of fluids this is a different kind of a fluid second call actually means solutions or suspensions mud flow polymers or non newtonian fluids in case of so plastic substances which is also a non newtonian initially yields stress is directly proportional to the continuous deformation means types of fluids can be classified by this relation take this newtonian fluid in such a way if when n is equal to 1 and v is equal to 0 n is equal to 1 v is equal to 0 newtonian fluid if n is greater than 1 the fluid is said to be dilent, or if it is less than one, it's said to be pseudo plastics. If it is equal to one and B is not equal to zero, it's said to be Bingham. What I gave the examples are also mentioned here that we'll take it up later. Means to say, types of fluid can be said in such a way that ideal or ideal fluid, ideal plastic like Bingham, ideal fluid has a definite yield stress and a constant linear relationship between. A, the same case, okay? Stress and the rate of angular deformation. But in ideal fluid, an ideal fluid is the one which is having incompressible and has zero velocity, where tau is equal to zero. Newtonian fluid tau the value. These values we just refer and plot the same thing and things. Variation of viscosity with the temperature can also change. You can say that viscosity increases as the temperature goes up. In the air, the same viscosity can be plotted here. Effect of temperature is having a great control. And also the temperature also in a great control on the uh, on the uh, on, on, on the media means in the case of gases increase the temperature makes the molecules to move very fast vigorous increases mixing ratio and viscosity increases in case of the liquids as the temperature increases molecular separation from each other will also increase thereby decreasing the attraction between them and viscosity decreases and liquid it is an anti-correlation between the fluid liquid and the gases if you are expecting the effect of the temperature under pressure on viscosity. Viscosity is affected by temperature, no doubt. The viscosity of liquid decreases, viscosity of the liquid decreases, but that of the gases increases with the increasing in the temperature. This is for air, this is for the liquid water. This is due to the reason that in liquids, the shear stress is due to the intermolecular cohesion, which decreases with the increase in temperature. But with the viscosity under the ordinary condition, it is not appreciable affected by the changes in the pressure. However, the viscosity of some oils, for example, has been found to increase with the increasing in pressure that we will see later in the next class. If you are having any questions, queries, doubts, 
Yes, you can ask now. I will stop sharing the screen. Same. If not, we will take up in tomorrow's class rest of them. I will share all these slides and uh, also the recorded audio to you, to your email ID. Those who are not getting emails, kindly drop a 